I just thought about this is that, and just for everybody that's listening, you know, forget TMOA stuff. We all, especially living in America and living in the West, I don't care how old you are, you should have a will. You should have a will. It's actually sooner to have a will. Um, and I want, and I'll, I'll read the hadith. And if there's not only advice for all of us, it's also a sign to show how Mubarak Jalani wasn't this great Sufi sheikh that just adhered to the Quran and the Sunnah because he didn't follow one of these basic things, even though especially he was literally dying for like 20 years. So like when you get in a certain age, like, okay, I'm, I'm probably going to be, it's, it's, it's understandable to see how a young man might not have a will because you don't actually contemplate like, oh, I might die tomorrow. But would you actually get in your older years? Like, okay, I'm, I'm getting to the, the years where I'm going to pass away. I should probably leave a will, especially if you are the Mujaddid of the century who knows all these hadiths, who communicates directly with Allah and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu But allegedly, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam neglected to tell you um, this very important hadith, <clears throat> where Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, and it's in Sahih Bukhari, he said, it is not permissible for any Muslim who has something to will or to leave behind to stay for two nights without having his last will and testament written and kept ready with him so this is something that all his sons all his daughters all his wives should have known about like yeah his will is right there in his dresser drawer his will is right there under his pillow or like they should all know about it but this wasn't followed it's a secret between mubarak jelani and um, Noor. 